In today's Aircraft Explained video, we take a look at the Boeing 717 Variable Flap Position Takeoff Setting, commonly referred to as Dial-A-Flap. Now this is a system in an airplane that honestly I am not very familiar with, so we will be using the systems and training manuals a little more than on other topics. But thankfully, I also have my friend here who actually flies the 717 to help me explain and write this one. The Boeing 717-200 was originally introduced and designed by McDonnell Douglas as the MD-95, which was the final variant of what started as the DC-9 series of aircraft. Because of this, it shares many similarities such as this system with the DC-9, MD-80, and MD-90 series. On almost all commercial airliners, the flap settings are usually predetermined by the aircraft manufacturer and are limited to the detents on the flap lever. On the Boeing 717, however, an added feature allows the pilot to select any degree between 0 to 20 to optimize takeoff performance with the use of the flap selector takeoff thumb wheel. This is its own separate adjustable detent that is able to move in addition to the up retract 0, 13, 18, 25, and 40 degree settings that are fixed on the flap slat control lever. When the takeoff flap setting is dialed in with the use of the thumb wheel to the desired adjustable setting, the flap slat lever will engage with a movable detent when it is moved to deploy the slats and flaps. The flaps are then commanded to deploy and stop at the selected setting even though the handle is not stopped at one of the fixed detents. The flap slat handle is mechanically connected to a cable drum which moves the control cables connected to the flap control valve. This valve controls the hydraulic pressure to the flap actuators which causes the flaps to extend or retract. The use of this variable flap takeoff system allows for both enhanced takeoff performance and climb capability. This allows the 717 to operate out of shorter fields and at higher weights in varying conditions such as high temperature or high altitude. So for example, when climb restricted, a higher flap setting can be used to ensure a better climb gradient to provide terrain clearance. The key aspect is, regardless of weight, you can select a flap setting that will optimize the aircraft's performance given its weight and the airport or weather conditions. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this Aircraft Explained video educational and helped answer any of your questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, if you have a topic that you would like to see covered in this series, feel free to comment below. You can also check out the rest of the series in the Aircraft Explained playlist. Thank you.